Hey, I'm Ted Vieira, and a friend of mine, uh, a f another photographer, just recently asked me if I'm still shooting in RAW or if I'm shooting JPEGs now, uh, because he knows that I just came over from Canon over to Fuji, and like I said, he's a photographer, so he's he's heard the buzz, you know, all the hype. Well, it's not hype. He's heard the buzz about the uh, JPEG quality um, coming out of Fuji cameras, the, the film simulations, um, and the beautiful photos that are coming straight out of these files. Um, so the answer is, yeah, yeah, I, I do still shoot raw. Um, after I said all that about the JPEGs. You know, when I was with Canon, I shot raw 100% of the time. I didn't really even care for the JPEGs. And the, and the raw file, right, that was just the professional's choice. I gave you all that information, all that data that you could really get in and edit and create the image you wanted because you weren't going to get that from the JPEGs. At least that, that's my experience anyway. So when I came over to Fuji, um, yeah, I do still shoot raw. Uh, but the difference is now, now I'm shooting uh, fine plus raw, which gives me a nice high-quality JPEG file um, along with the raw file with all the data. And the, there's a, a few different reasons why I do that. And one is because... Um, if I want to get the, the shot off the camera and, and over to like the Instax printer or shoot it up online somewhere, I can do that with a JPEG. I can't do it with a RAW. I could, you know, I could convert the, if I just shot in RAW, I still could convert the JPEG, um, convert to JPEG in the camera and then do all that stuff. But shooting JPEG plus RAW, it's already, it's ready to go. Um, and so... That's one cool thing about that. But also, it, then if I bring them both into the computer and I'm looking at them side by side, wow, I mean, the JPEGs are so beautiful that sometimes I'm done. I look at it and go, no, the JPEG is it. That's the image I want to use for for whatever purpose. Um, and then if, if uh, even if I don't want to use the JPEG, I like the way it looks, but I want to get in and do some deeper editing. Um, I can edit the RAW file, but... What the cool thing about having the JPEG file is you can look at it and get kind of a visual example of how cool this image could actually look because it does bring in all your, your shadow adjustments, your highlight adjustments, sharpness, you know, that you've got set in the camera. So it brings all that in. So I might say, wow, look at how cool those shadows look. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to bring all that detail out. I want those shadows, you know, things like that. So it can be kind of helpful as, as like, like I said, just seeing how cool the image can look without doing anything. Um, so, you know, I'm, uh, this part of the video, I'm just going to show some JPEG files out of the camera. For Fuji shooters, man, you guys already know this, right? But these images are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. The detail's awesome. And this is more for photographers if you're thinking about coming over to Fuji. Um, what you could have to look forward to. And even with photo shoots, you know, um, just beautiful, beautiful JPEG files right out of the camera. So, you know, that this is what works for me. Everybody's got their system. Everybody's got their workflow. I'm sure you, you know, you obviously know what <laughs> works best for you, right? Um, but if you're not shooting in RAW plus JPEG, um, try it for a while and see if this doesn't give you the same kind of experience that the, and the help that it gives me um, from time to time. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'm Ted Vieira, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Thanks.